Hi everyone, welcome to Style Session Studio with Johnny Vigil. Today's session is going to be a holiday red carpet look for 2017. In part one, we start with the makeup look, and in part two, we complete the look with a glamorous up style. To prep her skin, I like to use Embryolay's moisturizer. It's great for all skin types and it's easy to carry in my kit. And around her eyes, I use Needles No More Wrinkle Smoother by Dr. Brandt. Starting with her brows using Benefit's Precisely My Brow Pencil in number six, I use the fine tip to draw skinny hair-like strokes just to fill in her already thick, beautiful brows. Then I set them with some Anastasia Brow Gel in clear. For her eyeshadow primer, I used Tarte's Shape Tape in Light Neutral. And then I set that in with my Sephora Pro Airbrush Concealer Brush. The eyeshadow palette I use today is from Making Faces Beauty Book by Kevin Aqua. I start with a light color all over her lid in the color cream. I lined her eyes with a deepest shade using the Sephora Long Lasting Coal Pencil in deep brown that I later softened with a small Kevin Aqua brush. Next, I applied a medium shade from the palette in the color bronze with a small eyeshadow brush to the crease of her eye. I then added some to her under eye with a MAC 22 angled brush. In the corners, I layered in the deeper color, Amethyst, from the same Kevin Aqua palette, and I softly blended it in. Now I curl her lashes before applying my first coat of mascara. To keep the look soft, we decided not to use any false eyelashes. Moving on to foundation, we started with Benefit's Pore Fessional to smooth out her pores. For eyeliner, I use Smashbox Eyeliner Gel Pencil in Fishnet. I lined very close to her lash line and I also lined the top waterline, having her blink hard to transfer to the lower waterline. I added a little more as necessary. For her foundation, I used the RCMA foundation palette in VK11. I mixed two colors, OL2 and Jenna Beige, 
after testing them out on her cheeks. The great thing about this palette is you have so many colors in one little location that you don't have to carry so many foundations. And you can mix them up for the perfect shade and you can break it down with some more of that Embryolisse if you want it to be a lighter texture. After distributing it on with my finger, I go in with my Beauty Blender and pat, pat, pat to give it a very natural finish. After noticing how dry her lips were, I used a clean spoolie to brush off the excess skin before applying a lip moisturizer. You can also use a toothbrush if it's handy. I should have done this with the skin prep part of this application. For contour, I like to start with a cream product and then apply a powder over it. For my cream contour, today I'm using the Smashbox Step-by-Step -step Contour Stick. I use the contour color and then I use the highlight color. After blending, I went over it with the Anastasia Contour Kit in light to medium. Here I'm adding more mascara to the lower and upper lashes for a second coat. Then I come in with some more Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, this time in light medium for the under eyes. Here I'm using the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani eyeshadow palette with the color Blackout. This will soften the black eyeliner. For blush, I'm using the color Party from Tarte. It's a nice peachy pink. For her lips, I used a MAC lip liner in Spice, and then I went in with a Tarte matte lip gloss in Birthday Suit. I topped that and blended it out with a dose of color gloss called Undressed.
For highlighter, I used two products from Pat McGrath Labs. I started with a creamy, golden shiny stick highlighter, and then I topped that with the fine gold number no. three pigment powder. Sometimes the brows get a little dusty from the powder, so I touched it up with some Gimme Brow from Benefit in number five. I then added some highlighter from the Pat McGrath Labs in 003 under her brow and in the inner corner of her eyes. And then I finished her up with some setting spray from Urban Decay. Here's the final look. I hope you like it. Make sure you watch for part two where we do the hair that complements this makeup look. Thanks for watching. Bye.